what my edited wow X uh, can actually do. And I wanted to do it just because the functions keeps increasing. There is a higher number of them than before. And on top of it, there was one, there has been some confusion around whatever it's safe or not. So I wanted to clear it out in a video that will go here in this topic under the download. First of all, I will cycle through the functions that the WowX uh, actually has, that the additions that I have done enable you to do. Uh, first we have here removed MD5 and signature alongside with XML. Uh, so what does it mean? It means that whenever you do any edits to the interface of the World of Warcraft client MD5, for example here in the interface in uh, glue or glue XML, you will basically be uh, well, uh, to to be exact, you don't need to do in anything in this folder. You will need to edit the Lua or XML file, which is basically here, the Glue XML. These are the things that you need in order to run custom login screens and stuff. So that's that's it. With this feature, you are able to uh, load custom stuff like this. So that's one thing out of the way. What do we have here? A second edit is a uh, game version changed to my initials. That's pretty much just a visual edit that doesn't affect anything at all. But I will start the uh, World of Warcraft client real quick just to show you what exactly it means. It's the ASA which is Alastus referred to as my initials and there is my uh, A2 hashtag 6767 Discord ID. As you can see it's here in the left bottom corner December 14 which is my birthday and then lead because of you. Uh, what do we have here? Druid on level 101 will get no error when sitting on base stats and that also uh, applies to any other character that sits on a bar chair that is higher than 101 level why does it happen? Uh, the answer is really simple. Client error analysis relation uh, bar better. Basically, the uh, I have described it a bit more detail in, in detail over here. Uh, when you are trying to call entry from uh, get barbershop post base that doesn't exist, it will crash. Which means in the Lich King you are supposed to be only level 80 and they didn't had uh, more entries than level 100 and so 101 will mean crash you can either add a new lines into the dbc or just use the fix that i have provide in the wow exam so that's out of the way uh, and every level can see it with all the error yes does not create a cache of files. That's also true. What I have done is that I have renamed the cache file to something else that has character that basically cannot be created in the Windows environment. It contains one of these, which means when the World of Warcraft is trying to create the cache folder, the one Windows is basically just blocking it from doing so. Meaning you will have a, you will never have cache files at all. That's pretty easy. There is a Lua unlocker that enables you to use any Lua functions uh, and the APIs that are blocked and protected. Basically, here when you are looking at the reference, uh, the protected and hardware these are blocked and you can now use them. It's uh, most likely from the for the spells or the camera and stuff. Let me search for it. We'll find something interesting. 
We have some UI stack, use inventory item, confirm pin on use, run macro, stop macro. Um, there is all the movement functions. With this, you can basically write an add-on that can be moving for you, and it would be only an add-on and nothing else. It would, it would not, you know, it would not be hacked uh, because in our terminology, hack means reading and writing into the memory, which we are not doing because these functions are enabled. But then again, we have already written to the memory. Well, not memory, but offsets and binary data of the exe file, which is illegal as well. But doesn't really matter. There is a cast spell function, which is really uh, useful because, like this. Uh, imagine that you are in an arena and the uh, enemy warlock starts casting a shadow bolt or a chaos bolt and let's say uh, let's say that you are a class that has a spell reflex. I don't really know which class actually has it anymore to be honest. Who the fuck has spell reflex? Doesn't warrior has it? Yeah, I think warrior. Uh, so you can have a script running in background that is checking the target or all the targets and or in the, that, are, that are in range and the moment it starts uh, uh, noticing that some target in range is casting a chaos bolt it will immediately switch to the target and uh, cast a spell reflex on him so it gets reflected up to his face this whole operation can happen in like a half a second and thus it will be literally just an inhuman reaction that will save your ass uh, depends on how good you can code in Lua uh, so, free to do whatever you like. I was using literally just the same on some servers with health potions and uh, stuff because whenever I was low on HP, I automatically drink a health, health potion or used a health stone on a bad log and stuff like this. So, quite fun. Uh, local di di data loading directly. Yeah, this is pretty much uh, very useful stuff for low modding because if you will see my client, I have a like uh, DB file client, and these are loaded into my client when I load the game. Uh, the interface data, uh, even the, all these patches that I have over here, are being loaded in my game when I start. On top of it, you are able to uh, re read the data that even changed so one of the most uh, easiest way to describe it is going into the game and let me start it so somewhere around here Where it's going to switch me off, but doesn't really matter. Here is my zone that I'm currently working on, and let's say that I have this tree over here. And now I need my game to, to load, and I'm actually yeah, pretty close. Okay, so where the heck am I right now? Uh, okay, I'm standing somewhere here, meaning that I can approach this tree and let's check it out. As you can see, there is this bush over here. So let me let's pick it up. Copy paste, place it over here, make it bigger, save the map, close the Novi at this point, and let's just teleport out of the uh, instance so it unloads the ADD. You could even just teleport, you know, to the uh, from the instance to same instance, but you would need to just uh, teleport so far away from the ADT that you are standing on right now that it will literally unload the ADT which is like I don't know 10,000 yards away point is that you need to unload it and it unloads when you move too far away uh, as you can see the bush is here 
so I didn't even have to restart the game, just unload and reload ADT, which can be done by moving far away from it. Even same instance or just teleporting to other instance. What I have, what I'm doing is literally just this: uh, teleport to Scholomons in one second, say recall, which is basically teleporting me to the my previous location, and thus I can uh, review the edits in game very quickly. Quickly. <sighs> That's been loading local data. Another thing that we have on the list is that it does not use the scan DLL. Uh, yeah. In World of Warcraft there is a scan DLL, which is not here right now because I have deleted. Let's see if I have it somewhere here. No, it's here. Uh, there it is. In, in World of Warcraft basic installation there is a scan DLL that is uh, executable using in order to check if there is a cheat engine running on your computer and if yes, then it will not let run, in, it will not let run uh, World of Warcraft. So, I have basically removed uh, this can be a little, um, uh, index from the exit file and thus it will not be trying to load it and it won't be trying to check if there is a cheater engine running on your PC. Very useful when you are trying to do uh, hacking or stuff or testing like me and shit. Uh, when you zoom close to your character, it won't get transparent. That is, that's actually a feature that I'm really proud of. Because I have seen this feature for a very long time in a WoW Machine in my camera tool. But I was not able to uh, reproduce that thing in uh, environments such as editing the World of Warcraft exit file itself. It was only editing of the memory of the game, so I had to debug it a bit and find in from which offset it's actually being read and stuff like that. So when I zoom in, you can see that the character is not getting transparent at all. At this point, it should have been transparent a lot, but it is not. So you can start creating all those beautiful close-up profile picture-like screenshots and stuff. Yup. That's it. So what do we have here next? There is a maximum jump height. Uh, that's actually added in the script that I have uh, given here. That you can download. Let me open it on my side. Sweetscape. Script and what is the editor. So when you open the script, you will notice that the maximum jump height is over here, and right now there is a default value in there, so it won't really do anything. But you can just rewrite those four bytes to any value you really want. The point is the value is a float and it needs to be negative. The minus eight, round it up. The minus eight is the base. Uh, jump basically that uh, there is. If you rise the value then let's actually see if it's on the same address in the memory as in the mm, as in the binary. I will address the memory and it is low Oh no, that's something else then. I'm not really sure where in memory it is right now. I had it I had I had it written somewhere down. Not, can't remember really where. Uh, but anyway, if you just change this, you will be able to change thing uh, how how much you jump in your game. Uh, this hack actually can edit it quite easily if you do some jump over here. You will see that it's jumping to the same. Let's try to reapply it. No, it's actually taller, I think. Let's, let's try 20. Yeah, it's much more. So, this box is translating the value to the negative already. But if you try to edit the values, it needs to be in negative, which means. Imagine like minus 
20. Then we would need to pick up this hex value and insert it over here. And of course, don't forget to reverse the values because in, in binary hex it's backwards. So, next thing there is the far clip. I see, I actually have a mistake over here. That's far clip. And far clip extension was quite uh, very confusing to do because there is like far clip for the vanilla and TBC zones and then for the Wrath of the Lich King zones so for the Lich King it kinda works for the vanilla to TBC it's a bit clunky I still have to investigate those but the value has been found and confirmed by someone else so I'm sure it, uh, it does something and there is also a maximum climb angle that I need right now and it can be demonstrated really easy if I jump somewhere here you can see that the climb angle is absolutely mad like anything that is like higher than 90 degrees will not be climb angle but 89.99999 will be climb angle so you can just run across everything well and that's actually uh, that, that these are like all features that are not really too much hacky, I'd say. And then there are like last four features that are really hacky. And these are these four basically. Uh, there is a multi jump, which is my favorite. You can just jump all the time. And there is a language and follow. Follow enables you to follow any targets, even the NPCs, especially useful when you are doing like uh, escort missions. And language lets you understand to any uh, language in the game, even if you don't know the language. So you will be able to understand the horde and stuff, even on a server that uh, doesn't have cross faction talk enabled. And that's pretty much all. I will just close this stuff and now these features uh, are added only in the script and in the 12th generation of the WoW exit that I have uploaded there is a 11, 11 version without the hacky features and without the features from the script but you can just download the script and enable them all as you want because you can just you know erase the write bytes functions and then it won't do shit. Uh, on top of it I have released all the offsets that I have found over here so you can just uh, browse through it as much as you want. Thank you for downloading my exit file, that's all.